Hello, my name is Andrea Melchiori, and this is uh, Felix Felix Silla. We're here to interview him today at Motor City Comic Con 2016. <laughs> and and this is Billy Ray, Don Coble. And um, well, I know you f uh, for, as cousin It. I used to watch Adam's Family. Now um, the question I have is um, uh, probably you've heard many times before about wearing that all that hair, and was it was it hot? Was it difficult to wear? Or was it? T tell us about the costume. Well, actually, it was not really hot. We started out with the with the real human hair. And it was, that one was very, very hot and, uh, and heavy. I could only stay inside for more, more, no more than 10 minutes. So they decided to just to go in to, uh, to have a, a synthetic material. Because uh -huh. the first wig, they were very, very, very flammable. And, you know, the way the, the crew works, they, like, they just like to smoke. All the guys, you know, like to smoke. Uh -huh. So they walk away to go get a cup of coffee. They, they throw the cigarette on the floor. They step on it. Sometimes they miss, and the director said, "Can you imagine if Felix walks around? I was like a like a, a mop, you know, mopping the floor." Say, "Can you imagine if he walks over one of those cigarette butts that hasn't been put out? He'll go up in flames." So that's why they decided to use the uh, the synthetic material, uh, in which okay. was okay. in which was a lot lighter and not very heavy. You know, I could stay in more than half an hour at a time. Uh -huh. The first one, I couldn't even stand in five minutes. I soon I put it on, five minutes later, man, I started sweating, it got heavy. Oh I said, take it off, I don't want to do it. So anyway. <laughs> are you here for, uh, with us, or? Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> yeah. These two are a handful for definitely. Huh? These two are definitely a handful. Um, Which one is a handful? Is it both of them. <laughs> the Italian girl, right? No. Oh, they're both a handful. Oh, okay. <laughs> what was the most interesting role you've had, and why? Uh, being born. <laughs> No, uh, I don't know which one was. Uh, everything I've done in the uh, in the 60s, 70s, up to the 80s, to me was really nice. Working with nice people. Uh, Adam's family was uh, really nice to work with. We were like a family. We would, everybody got together, really nice. Uh, nobody screamed at each other. We were really friends. Uh -huh. You know, it's called the Adam's family, and we were a family. Right now, it's. They kind of changed a lot, uh -huh. be, be, you know, before, the, be, be between the, the old time, the, the, you know, the now, everything has changed. Now is everything, hurry up, hurry up, yeah, we have to, yeah. we have to finish this film, we got to put them on tape, we got to put them on cable. Those days, they didn't worry about it. Everything has to be done perfect, because if, if something was not right, they never showed on the film, on, on the yeah. screen. Yeah. They had a, pri they had a, pri a prime, they were really wonderful people. They were, everything has to be done perfect. Now everything is hurry up, hurry up. You know, we have to, we got to go another film. It's, it's so easy. What are the differences between those days and now? It's, it's like 100% different, you know. And so, uh, my good old days, uh, they'll never come back. You know, they were wonderful days, and I enjoyed being in the film industry, and, and it was great, you know. It's, uh, it was a wonderful journey, you know, yeah. to work with the very professional people. Probably a lot of stuff you miss. Well, I mean, I don't really know what's going on in the movie industry anymore yeah. because I don't live there. I don't live in California. I moved. Yeah. That was one thing I was going to ask you is what you have going on right now. And I do want to ask you about the book, too. Oh, yes. Book. It's a brand new book. It just came out. But after this one, there's another one coming out. It's going to be in black and white. Okay. This one is all in color it's very expensive yeah. it's a lot of color photo nice. it's a lot of nice color pictures so uh the next one it's more uh, it's it's available it'll be available soon the yeah. yes i did an episode of the monkey at the circus really? yeah take a take a look at this monkey at the circus uh everything you see at the table you probably and see michael it Nesmith is here. where is he I, or is he coming tomorrow one of those rows over there. That, this is Bonanza. Oh, I an episode of Bonanza. Oh, I remember. This is my favorite character. You remember Horse and the Leprechaun? Here's the monkeys. Yes, the Monkey at the Circus. Monkeys. Willie the Widget. Midget. Will, my name, yes, Will, uh, Willie. Willie the Widget. Oh my gosh. So you play the monkey and you work with monkeys? 
I didn't play it. No, I wasn't that a monkey. I played the monkey. How about fucking a small I, ape? I played, I played the little gorilla on the Planet of the Apes. Planet of the Apes? I wanted to ask you about that. I love Star the Apes Trek? movies. Which Planet ape Dark? movie was it? The very, very first. Which held you fastest? Yeah, there's a picture right there. Look at it. Right here. Yes, that's... Yes. That's a Peter Mayhew from uh, yeah, I bet uh, you play right. Chewbacca. Yeah, what am I doing? All the talking, nobody talking? They sure do love to cover you in fur for these roles, don't they? Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, oh my God. Well, you know what? Everything oh, I've done, uh, it's, it's, been, it's been in costume. Yeah. There was a beautiful movie, oh, my God. The Return of the Jedi. Favorite. So where can they get the book? Where's they the can book? get the book through uh, me at, at tweaky1 at cox.net. It's a PayPal. What would you say would be the strangest role you ever had to do? Oh wait! You know what? The, yeah, that's a that's the Batman Return. Oh my gosh! I had what no idea. Thing? I was oh one. Of, yes. Wow. Oh my gosh. I, I was I was one of the Emperor. Emperor Penguin. Yeah. And that's by Town and Ugly. Now, is there a role that you've never had that you always wanted to do? Yes. What's that? I always Jim. dreamed. I always dreamed to do a movie, a western with Sophia Loren, oh. but it never worked out. We couldn't raise enough money. Oh. Now we're both too old, we can't do anything. Did you met her? I never met her. Because you're from Italy, right? Yes. Yeah, she's from Italy. Well, of course, there yeah. There you go. Yeah, she's from Italy too. No, she's from oh, Italy. No, no, no. I, no. You married? My parents are German. Like a... What's her last name? Melchiori. No. My Italian. last name is Italian, but my family's German. Ich spreche viele Deutsch. What did they get? Viele Deutsch, yeah. They get an Italian. Deutsch sprechen, yes. yeah. Yeah, the, the, they get an Italian last name, but they're not Italian. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, that's okay. I was you know what? I'm sorry. But, okay. I was in northern Italy in September. They were all speaking German there, too. So. You, yeah, I was in northern Italy a few years ago. I was doing a convention. They're yeah, all German. They all came to, to go with the hotels. Man, I tell you, uh, we were in a beautiful place. They all, sp they all spoke German, so, you know. Have you been back to Italy many times? Uh, about three, four times, maybe four times. Speak some Italian. No, buongiorno. Oh, Mangia. <laughs> Amore. <laughs> Ciao. Yes, but, uh, spaghetti. Yes, spaghetti and meatball. This movie no. with Sofia, Sofia Loren, what would it be? Like, would it be a romance? Would it be action? Actually, I wanted to do a Western, but it, it's not going to work. That wasn't my dream. Huh? It's not going to work. So, you want to say anything? Who's the favorite? What was, the, as far as roles and cast, what was that kind of your favorite? And who's your favorite to work with? Uh, I did a movie with George Segal called the, uh, it was the remake of the Maltese Falcon with the Humphrey Bogart, remember? Yeah. We did a movie called The Blackbird and it was in comedy. There's a picture somewhere there. Yeah, there's a picture of the, underneath that big photo. That one. This one? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, that's me. Uh, that was called The, the Blackbird. And it's a very, well, very funny movie. It was really, really funny. George and I, we had a lot of fun. Uh, it was very nice, you know, I got a lot of dialogues. And uh, nothing happened because their release was uh, together with next rated movie. And it really didn't do very good. So. But it was really nice. Anything, um, I, my brother was into Buck Rogers. I really wasn't in Buck Rogers, but I know there's a question here somewhere. <laughs> I can ask about wearing that costume or... Or do people remember you? How do people remember you best? From the Buck Rogers or from Buck the Rogers, Adams family? Adams family and Buck Rogers. So tweet mostly, tweet tweet? mostly Adams family because Adam's family thing is running, it's still running now. It is still Here and there, you know. Yeah. Buck Rogers really, not much, but I'll tell you something about Buck Rogers. I did a convention in Japan, and everybody looked at the picture and just yeah. said, what is this? They didn't know anything about it. Because they never but they know you from the Adam's family. Adam's family, Adam's family. Star Wars, yeah. they go, they're crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Buck Rogers, nothing, because it's never been shown in Japan. Now, I'm in the 501st. And in our Great Lakes Garrison in our state here, I am, well, the only uh, female Darth Vader. I okay. have an approved Darth Vader outfit Darth as Vader? well. Are you going yeah. to dress yourself tomorrow? I don't Vader? have my Darth Vader with me. I have my Jedi. Okay. 
I'll go. And I'm also a crew, crew I would say crewman, but a crew, I'm a woman, a crew woman. <laughs> Well, so I have three costumes. I I am both the the good, the good and the bad. All right. Yeah, I'm she's an honorary member. Honorary member of yes. the 504. I'm, I'm so proud to be, yes. you know, involved with these people yes. because Yay. they really do a wonderful Yay. work and uh, they're very nice. Yeah. You guys do really nice stuff. Um, it's you know between uh, 501st and you know and the other people. Yeah. So you guys do a lot of nice things. And Thank you. I've done a convention, like for example, I did a convention in Lexington, Kentucky, uh -huh. two years in a row. There's a big group over there, you know, yeah. five or four. They brought in a little boy from the hospital, yeah. and they gave him a huge box full of things. Really nice like helmets, and shoes, and books, and patches. Uh -huh. The kid was so, so happy, and then the next year they brought his sister with him. And you guys doing a good job. You did a great job. You know. As a matter of fact, you even you even went to walk at the Rose Parade in California one year, five miles. Yes. I couldn't even last the three three blocks. And you some of you guys did it. Five yes. miles. Yes. You know. Yes. So that's got to show you that you have uh, you belong to a wonderful group and uh, keep going you know, you're doing a great Thank job. You. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I really appreciate it. So. Oh, cousin Ed over there. Look at look at that. <laughs> yeah, and I know, um, I don't remember his name, but the guy who did Wicked, um, uh, he was at the last celebration. Yes. Yes. Uh, I didn't go. I went to the one before that. Well, I... In Florida. Did you I go to one there. in Florida? In I went to both of them in Florida. You went to Orlando, right? The both, I went to five and six. I, I went, didn't go I, last year to seven. I went to seven and six and four. Okay, okay. Well, yeah. yeah. yeah I would have seen you then. Well... Yeah. I was in Orlando, and one of the guys asking me right now, he says, we used to watch you on the all the way all the time. I said, were you signing? Yeah, well, where were you? I mean, I was for four days, freezing, yeah. Yeah. freezing to death. I mean, we were sitting underneath this uh, air-conditioned van. Oh, my God, it was so cold. And he says, every morning I saw you in the hallway. Wow. I had to go you somewhere. In the building that you were in, you were freezing? Yes. We, oh, you know, with the big building with yeah, the uh, Chewbacca yeah. We were around the corner against the wall, and I made them move the table three feet toward the wall, so, yeah. and it was a lot better. As a matter of fact, the 501st, they wanted to buy me, a, they bought me a jacket, one of those Chewbacca and uh -huh. Han Solo reversible one. Yeah. They paid a hundred dollars for it because I felt bad about it. I was, I was dying, and I didn't have a coat with me. So got a jacket. So at night, I give it to somebody to return it. I thought, you know, I'll let me use it. Yeah. So next day, one guy said to me, Felix, where's the jacket? Oh, I gave it to somebody last night to put away. Oh, no, 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 that belongs to you. We bought it for you. We got, you know, he said, we paid $100. Oh, okay, wow. right. Now I got it at home. Wow. So I, 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 don't, I don't really need it in Vegas because... Yeah, exactly, yeah. yeah. Unless you want to lose weight and then you can put it on. But She was at, you were at six. You were at Celebration Six. You were? Yeah, I took it with me. Yeah, yeah it was, yeah. I, I tell you, so, I don't know what's going to happen from now on. Well, I'm hoping they have one in Chicago. Because well, I'm from Kalamazoo, I'm from the west side, so Chicago would be, and I know the one in Chicago, the convention hall is bigger than the one in Florida. Mm. It's bigger, yeah. Well, you know, Disney. So I'm hoping. Being as a Disney, I really shouldn't say, I know, but I know. being at Disney, their own thing now, and they have Orlando, Disneyland, and they have California. Yeah. You know, who knows what they're going to do. Have one in the I want to be in the there. That's all I care. I want to yeah. be there. But I don't know if they're going to invite us or whatever. We, we uh, hope. I hope so. Though. I hope. So the guy we're talking about, his name was Warwick Davis. Warwick Davis, yes. yes. Like, when we... Like Oh, yes. Yeah. When we did, when we were filming Return of Jedi, he was really tiny. He was 13 years old, and they kind of burned him up. But him and George Lucas, they became like this. Yeah. Everything George does is in there. Yeah. That's okay. Uh, but we're, yeah, work, Davis. Yeah. Anyway. Okay, well, anyway, this is great. Thank yeah, you thank so you. much. You're welcome, man.